let the transformation from R2 to P2 be linear transformation where T of the vector one zero equals X squared plus three and T of the vector zero one equals five X plus six. We're asked to find the transformation of the vector three negative two. Let's begin by writing the vector three negative two as a linear combination of the vectors we know about, which are the standard basis vectors one zero and zero one. The vector three negative two is equal to three times the vector one zero minus two times the vector zero one. From here, we will take the transformation of both sides of the equation. This gives us the transformation of the vector three negative two equals the transformation of the difference of three times the vector one zero and two times the vector zero one. From here, because we have a linear transformation, we can use the properties shown below to evaluate the right side of the equation. Using the first property, we can write the transformation of a difference as a difference of transformations, which gives us the transformation of the vector three negative two is equal to the transformation of three times the vector one zero minus the transformation of two times the vector zero one. And now we can use the second property and factor out the three and the two on the right. The transformation of the vector three negative two is equal to three times the transformation of the vector one zero minus two times the transformation of the vector zero one. And we know the transformation of the vector one zero and the transformation of the vector zero one. So now we'll perform substitution on the right. The transformation of the vector three negative two is equal to three times the transformation of the vector one zero is equal to x squared plus three. So we have three times x squared plus three and then minus two times the transformation of the vector zero one. The transformation of the vector zero one is equal to five x plus six. So we have two times five x plus six. And now we simplify the right side. Distributing three, we have three x squared plus nine. And then because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing negative two. Distributing negative two, we have negative 10 x or minus 10 x minus 12. Simplifying one last time, we have three x squared minus 10 x minus three. I hope you found this helpful.